Namaste. Namaste, beautiful, bright, shining souls. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Shauna, coming to you again from incredible, amazing Pushkar. So much energy, so much love for this place. Pushkar Lake right behind me. Are you ready? Full power in half an hour. It's what we're doing. What's it all about? We start with high intensity interval training. It's adrenaline pumping, endorphins flowing, right? Feeling great, tapping into that energy, that power, that strength. So we get rid of all of that energy in the most beneficial way possible. And then we transition to some yoga. Our muscles are warm, our body is full, full charged, and then we flow into some mindful breathing and stretching. And finally, ending with Shavasana. Finding that time and space for meditation, for some peace, it's what we need most, um, unfortunately, in this day and age. We don't get a lot of time to just do nothing and be, right? We, we live in a place where we have a lot going on, a lot coming at us at all times. So this is your opportunity. And Shavasana is the goal. If there's a goal to this, besides having fun, which is a big part of it as well, you should be having fun when you do this workout. Shavasana is where we reset, we recharge, we re refuel, we take the time that we need to, like I said, simply be. Let's get started. Are you ready? You're gonna feel amazing, incredible, full power, recharged, all of these things. And you should have a lot of fun while you're doing it, right? This is all about you, so please get up, do it with me. Just watching me burn zero calories and maybe you could get some of the effects, maybe, <laughs> but really we all go through modifications and as long as you're just moving and having fun with it, that's what it's all about. So grab some music. I play music. I'm not sure how to do that whole music process thing for the YouTube, but play music. <laughs> Listen to something that's going to get you fired up, that's going to get you more into this space. Make this your own. Like I said, all about you. So we start. High intensity interval training. 15 seconds is when we will start. 45 seconds work. Starting with high knees. So biceps in line with ears. Let's go. So nice and easy, just bringing your knees up. If this is automatically, you're like, whoa, 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 you're right here, no worries, yeah? But get that heart rate up nice and fast. Belly pulling up and in, booty tucked under. Shh. Nice, stay with it. Just keep breathing, just keep moving. Smile, okay, great time to set an intention. Why are you here? What do you need? What do you want? What are you doing? Shh. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Going into mummies next. So, butt is tucked under, and we're just gonna kick our, lean back, kick our feet straight out in front of us. Arms, like this, crossing right in front. Let's go, 45 seconds starts now. So arms are super straight. Belly is pulling up and in, and you're leaning back. Heart up nice and high. Breathe. Gaze up. Shh. Stay with it. So this is it. High intensity interval training, right? We work hard for the first 15 minutes. Shh. This is so good for you guys. Way better than get like working out on a treadmill or anything. It keeps our metabolic heart rate going. Keep those arms nice and active. Feet kick straight out in front of you. Like you're on a hot sidewalk. Yeah, maybe something like this. Breathe. Shh. Three, two, one. Awesome. So now, same, same, different. We're going to go the opposite way. So hands are going to come to heart center, roll shoulders down and back. Again, belly staying nice and pulled in, but our legs stay straight as we kick back. Shh. Like this. Yes. Gaze up. Let's go. Shh. So again, super straight. Press your finger pads together. This will ensure that your shoulders are rolling down and back. You're not kind of dumping in. Good, fast feet, fast feet. I'm just kicking straight back, right? Booty's on point on this one. Yeah, three, stay with it. Again, what are you working on? What do you need? Here we go, final 15 seconds, push. Gaze up. On this one, I kind of have a tendency to look down. I have to remind myself, really, gaze up, push those palms together. 
Final five. Dig deep, maybe a little bit faster. Pull that belly up and in. Three, two, one. Cross jacks are next. My favorite, take a nice wide stance. Always, dancing is always welcome. You can always dance it out. And just crossing right at center, back, cross. Nice, let's go. So squeeze your thighs together. Pull belly up and in. Arms are super active, yes you can. Opposite arm crosses over every time. Opposite foot switches out. You can bounce around a little if you want. Like I said, dancing's always welcome. It's a great form of exercise. And fun, right? This should be fun, guys. Working out is a blessing, not a chore. All right, and if you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about, it is three, two, one, yes. You change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So notice what's going on. Next, single leg, lateral step. So it looks like this. You're gonna jump to one side, kick forward, kick back, jump to the other side. Let's go, kick forward, kick back, jump. Forward, back, jump. Shh, shh, Woo. Stay low. Yes, you can. Breathe. So they should be snappy kicks too, yeah? And if this is testing your balance, no worries. All right, it's good. Just keep moving. You're already doing it. Showing up is the hardest part. Ha. Ha. Nice guys, last three, two, and one. Burpee Jack is next. Looks like this, hands come down to the earth. You can step back or jump back, up to you. Out, out, jump or step, jack. Good, let's go. Hands to the mat, jump or step back. Step, step, feet to hands, jack. Good, again, hands to the mat, jump back, maybe. Out, in. Feet up, jack, good. Slow it down, pay attention to what's going on in your body. Step, step, and jack, nice. Breathe, halfway. So once you figure out what you're doing, sharpen those skills, right? Clean it up a little bit. Intentional movements. Push the floor away when you jump back. Here we go, last one, get it in there. Woo! Good job. Plank hot hands is next. This is a good one. So come into a plank position, hands are shoulder width distance apart. Wrists directly under those shoulders. Here we go, so you're in a plank, right? Lift up hand, opposite. Again, like whatever's underneath you is really hot, you're just lifting up. Now this is challenging, guys. So you can always do this from your knees. I find that I can get a little bit faster if I do it from my knees, but after a while, I like start to kind of lose that. So I have to come back in. So do you, again, notice what's going on in your body, see what, how you're feeling. Breathe. Gaze is out in front of you, breath is nice and strong. You got this. You got this, three, two, one. Child's pose, toes together, knees nice and wide, reach those arms forward. From here, we're gonna go straight into child's pose push-ups. So, come forward, elbows kiss the rib cage, press it back. Nice, let's go, 45, we're on. Forward and back, notice your feet, toes, everything stays down, Shh. Body stays in one nice long line. Squeeze the bum, pull the belly up and in. Shh. Yeah. And these don't have to be super fast because strength, there's a lot going on. So like I said, there's no rush. Feel your strength, feel that power. Halfway. So good, breathe. Final 10 seconds. Work for it. 
Here we go, last three. Two, and one. From here, we are going to come into um, some crab kickouts. So tabletop, reverse tabletop, this is it. Let's start with our leg. <laughs> Pick a leg, I don't care which one. Uh, hips in line with those knees, knee in, kick out, in, out. Heart stays nice and high, gaze is up, breathe. Shh. Minimize the movement in your hips, just that leg is kicking, knee is pulling in, foot is kicking out. Belly up and in, last three, Shh. two, switch it out please. Here we go, opposite knee comes in, kick it out, in, out. Notice if your hips start to drop, and just adjust accordingly. Yes, you can. Stay with it. Shh. Keep pressing that floor away from you. Woo. Three, two, and one. Amazing work. Ab wipers are next. So palms come down to the earth, face down. You can tabletop your legs. I like this version better. And nice and easy. We're just going to drop knees to one side, knees, feet, to, and then come back to the other side. Let's go, guys. We're on. Shh. Nice and slow. Feel the control that you have. Again, this is not a race. And if it is, it's only with yourself. So be kind, be gentle to yourself. Shh. Check in with that breath. Maybe check in with the quality of your thoughts. How you doing? Shh. So good, so close. You can't see the timer. 10 seconds, maybe. Shh. Uh. Final moments, you got this. Three, two, one, good job. Okay, uh, reverse tabletop. So reverse tabletop again, same, same. I like to turn my hands out a little bit on this one. And all you're gonna do is have one hand come over and touch down, come back, switch it out. Good job, let's go. Heart stays nice and high. So your feet, your hips aren't really moving at all. That's the intention at least, right? Keep the hips high, core is engaged. Kind of like a wax on, wax off. It's a ninja move, it's a good ninja move. Breathe, Woo. halfway. Stay with it, you got this. Oh. And notice if you're making it harder than it is. You got this. Three, two, last one. Awesome. Okay, so pick a side. We're going to come into a side plank. Uh, so elbow down, forearm side plank. I'm going to take a supported one because I like it better. So you can be full up like this. Choose to be down. One arm reaches up. Elbow comes to knee. Reach it long, together. Long, together, nice. Shh. Stay with it. Shh. Crunching in those obliques. Shh. Working it out. Shh. Here we go, last three, two, last one. Good, so the toe taps down, in front. Tap down, tap in front. Good, breathe. Shh. Notice my hand came down to support me right in front. Stay with it. Keep that leg nice and long. Almost there. You can feel the booty squeezing. Feel the core working. Keep the hips up. Almost there, guys. That's it. Good. Same, same, opposite side. So forearm, forearm side plank, yes. Forearm side plank, again, I like to drop that bottom knee. Reach the opposite hand up overhead in line with the ear. Crunch it in. Elbow to knee. Shh. Belly pulls up and in. Woo. Shh. Yes, you can. What are you working on? Shh. Metro PCS. Last two. Last one. Again, toe tap. Long and in front. Long, in front. Tap. So you're reaching out through those pointed toes. If you wanted to flex them, I don't care. Just send energy out of the foot. 
Almost there, almost there. Three, two, and one. Amazing job. All right, so from here we're gonna come into a forearm plank. Forearm plank. So check out what's going on in your body. You want your heels to reach back. Push the floor away, so traction against the elbows. Belly pulls up and in, gazes out in front of you. Just breathe. Stay with it. 30 seconds right here. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Calm yourself, soft face. Stay with it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Drop one knee, pop it back up, opposite knee. Good, drop and opposite. Woo. Stay with it. Uh, last three. Two. Ah, last one. Good. Come on down. Woo. So stretch it out. Knees are hip width distance apart. Reach the arms forward. So if my booty's nice and high, your booty should be high too. Reach those arms forward. So puppy dog pose and hatasana. You're melting your heart down. You feel awesome opening stretch in the shoulders and the hips. You want to wag your tail? Feels good. Big breath in. Let it go. One more, please. Fill up. Good job. All right, one more time. Coming back to that forearm plank. So pop it back up. Again, check in. Notice if your butt's nice and high. If your hips are dropping too low, you want to be right at the center. Pull the belly up and in. Again, traction. Elbows in towards you. Gaze ahead of yourself. All right, right back to where we left off. Both knees come down. Maybe they tap, maybe they don't, doesn't matter. And then pull right back up. Down. Not here long, guys. Feel that strength. Now, if this is too much for you, you just go one at a time. Yeah? Breathe. Two. Both knees. Here we go. Last three. Two. Last one. Smile. Toes come to touch. Hip dips. Side to side. So working the obliques. The last one, last little core on the side. Planks are one of the best things we can do to strengthen our core. Stay with it, here we go. Five, four, just three, two, and one. Good job. Take child's pose. Woo. So this time allow your knees to come nice and wide. Reach your arms forward. Again, you want a nice little wiggle, please feel free. Feels amazing. And relax your head down to the mat as well. Big belly, full dynamic breath in. Let it go. One more, fill up. Soften it in. Ah. Nice. Come up to a tabletop position. So cat cows. Hands are shoulder width distance apart. Wrists are stacked directly under your shoulders. Knees are under your hips. And inhale, shine your heart through the gate of your arms. Feel your shoulders roll down and back. Your booty is nice and high. Hey, exhale, press round, arch, curl. So really feel your vertebra as they extend towards the sky. Your gaze is gonna go towards your belly button navel. Inhale, take your time, stretch it out and feel what's going on. Big breath in. Exhale, push round, arch, curl. Good. A couple more of these, your own pace. Want to make any other organic movements, barrel rolls, and just little wiggles, anything that feels good to you in your body. We're all different, and that's awesome. Or else it would be really boring if we were all the same, right? Uh, good job. And from here, we'll take downward facing dog. So, Hands are gonna stay right where they are. Hopefully spread those fingers nice and wide. Come into a plank position. Don't worry, we won't be here long. But from plank, you should be able to feel the weight come forward to your fingertips, reach those heels back. Exhale, hips go high, downward facing dog. So you're in an inverted V. The tendency is to move your hands or feet. Just don't do that. Stay right where you are from here. So it's always a good indication. High plank, hip side, down dog. Nice. Again, same, same. So from here, just pedal, right? Bend one knee deeply, ah. then the opposite knee, 
So your booty is the highest point here. It's that kind of party. You're pressing the floor away from you. Feel your triceps wrap around and down. Nice. <clears throat> right leg lifts long. And we're just gonna take it and have a nice calf stretch here. So place that leg on top of your Achilles and reach it down. Nice little calf stretch from all those jumping around, all that jumping around. Inhale, reach it back up. Let your hand come more to the center of the mat, and then just mindfully step outside. Hold on, so you can see, yeah? So you're in a runner's lunge position. Drop that back knee, relax the toes towards the earth. With your hand, just help open that knee towards the sky, shoulder rolls down and back. So lizard lunge here. You can roll to the knife edge of that foot. And keep reaching your heart up so that you feel this nice stretch in your hip flexor. Calm mind. Okay, let your head be heavy here. Big breath in. Soften in. And if it works for you, can reach for a quad stretch. Okay, be really careful with your knees here, guys. Not too much pressure on it. And again, just pulling that heel towards your booty. Breathe. Nice, gently unravel. Come back up. And you are just going to turn Prasarita Padatanasana. So turn to the long side so both of your feet are nice and wide. Toes in, heels out. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, just bow down. <laughs> nice. So if your head hits the floor, you can bring your feet in closer together. Opposite hand <laughs> wraps around. This is interesting. Opposite hand wraps around the opposite arm. Breathe. So again, shake your head yes, shake your head no. Inhale, halfway lift. And just go ahead and step back to a downward facing dog. You can come through a high plank if you'd like, or not, doesn't matter. But make sure your alignment's still setting up so that we maintain that same quality on the opposite side. So inhale, left leg lifts, opposite leg. And again, find that nice calf stretch on this side. Continue to press the floor away from you and check in with your breath, so important here. As we reach the heel toward the earth, feeling the calf stretch on this side, and allow for a whole new experience on this side, because we're different from side to side. Head is heavy. This time, right hand scooches in towards the center of your mat. Right leg, or left leg extends long, and then step it up, back. Good. Knife edge of the foot opens up, Roll shoulders down and back, drop that back knee, toes to the earth. So same, same, just on the opposite side. Heart stays nice and high. Press into the bottom hand. How's your breath? So we're really just unraveling into the work we've already done. So notice if you're trying to strain or any of this, just let that go. Work's over. We're breathing. We're just, we're happy we're here. It's a good place to be. One more big belly breath in. You reach for that quad stretch on the opposite side. Please find it on this side. Heel to the bum. And gently keep that foot into your hand if you're taking it. If you're not, just enjoy. Wherever you are is right where you need to be. Every day is a new adventure, so enjoy. Gently unravel. Good. And this time, same, same, stepping through Prasarita Padatanasana. And then go on this way. So toes in, heels out, we just turn to the side. This time, 
place your right hand to the center of your mat. Inhale, reach up, opposite arm reaches towards the sky. And look, gaze up towards your hand, press the floor away from you, really feeling that stretch. Big breath in. Exhale, gently switch. Opposite hand comes to the center. rocking side to side to release any tension that may be lingering in your back. And then wrap your forearms around your shins. Squunch up your face, squeeze your toes. I want you to contract every muscle you've been working so hard on. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now, huh, let it all go. Final sweet, 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 sweet Shavasana. Shoulders roll down and back, palms face up. Get out any wiggles, jiggles, anything that you may need so that you can fall into this space. Your heart is the highest point. Melt your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And if you haven't already, gently allow your eyes to close. So you made it. Transition from doing to simply be. Feel the earth as it holds and supports you. Any tension melts away. Tune into the sensations pulsating through your body. Feel that higher vibration, that energy, and allow it to saturate every cell of your divine, incredible, radiant being. So that you feel rejuvenated, empowered, Feel refreshed and full. And it's through this fullness you have that much more to give. Not only to others, but to yourself. Space between your eyebrows, hollowness your cheeks. Every inhale, feel the lightness of your being. Every exhale, feel the heaviness of your bones. Soak up these final moments. Give yourself anything that you may need. And only you know what that is. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is that of love, of light, of peace, and of truth. When you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, we are one. This is the literal translation for Namaste, friends. So let that settle in for a moment.
allow your next exhale to be released through your mouth, letting go of any stale air or energy you may have left. Take a big belly breath in, fill up your really big, expansive, dynamic, open mouth, audible exhale. Gently start to reawaken your body, bringing movement back to your fingers, toes. Drop one ear to the mat, followed by the opposite ear. Your next inhale, reach your arms overhead, your feet out nice and long like you just woke up in the morning. Big full body stretch from middle finger to pinky toe. Exhale, roll to a comfortable fetal position to your right. And this is one of my favorite parts right here. So before you get up and head back out into your day, your life, just taking one more moment to really feel connected, to feel grounded, to feel supported. Leisurely press up. Take your time. Hands come to heart center. Anjane Mudra. Feel your thumbs press into your heart for all the blessings in your life and all the gratitude you have to give. Take this light and let it shine brightly to everyone you meet. Remember to be kind. Everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle and everyone you meet has been through something that has deeply changed them. This is not the end of your practice but just the beginning. Thumbs come to third eye center, and we bow forward to seal our practice. Namaste. And we always say namaste, namaste. Yay. Awesome work today, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Um, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, I would love to hear from you. Um, you can subscribe somewhere or like somewhere else or feel free to share. Um, let me know what I can do for you. I hope you have a marvelous day and you go out, be kind and spread love and light. And yeah, all of these things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay.